Prince Harry was sporting a very natty beard during his visit to Chicago this week. Described as charming, chatty and at one point childless at the Obama Foundation inaugural summit on Tuesday, Prince Harry wowed the former P.O.T. U.S. and Flotus and the Romster. But yipes they handsome Harry, who did not bring actress Meghan Markle to Chicago despite their love of Halloween and her attendance at Northwestern University, is now beginning to lose his hair, although it is noticeable only in the back of his head. Opinion I think that's why he grew the beard, chirped a Sneed source. But he's still handsome in a rascally way. So here is why Sneed is chuckling. In 2011, Sneed spotted Prince Harry tousling with his big brother, Prince William, outside their home on the mall at St. James Palace the night before Will married Kate Middleton, and teasing Prince William about his hair loss. He's going bald, Prince Harry chirped as he rubbed his brother's royal topper. It seemed the boy's way of having a bit of fun with the throng lining the mall in hopes of catching a view of the wedding cortege the next day. Next up, Sneed is also told Prince Harry's royal retinue included two Americans who now work for the royal household. Yep, two Yankees were attending to Prince Harry's trip to Chicago. I don't recall their names, but the woman claims she went to England for graduate school study and stayed, said the source. And the male attendant said he is married to an Englishman. Blimey I wonder what it's like for an American to address the boss as your royal highness every day him, who is the biggest dirtbag in Chicago who knows but ya gotta believe there are some Chicago poles shaken in their boots just waiting for the first person to step forward in the sexual harassment scandal that has hit Hollywood like a hurricane. Is there a boat with a secret mooring somewhere in the mix? Stay tuned. Hillary Voltaire and the Lisa line. Sneed is told Hillary Clinton, who is on a book tour, had one major question Monday for Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan, who has decided to pull the plug on her political career. Question Are you happy with your decision? queried Clinton during her book signing Monday at the legendary bookstall in Winnetka. Answer Well, yes, said Madigan. Hillary Evil 2, paper postscript 1,000 tickets were issued for Hillary Clinton's book signing Monday afternoon, 1,000 copies of Clinton's What Happened memoir were sold, 200 copies of Clinton's It Takes a Village were also sold, the last 25 to 30 people at the end of the autograph line were Clinton's old Park Ridge friends and classmates. Hillary Evil 3, candles, cameras, action click, click. Hillary Clinton's 70th birthday was quietly celebrated behind the curtain at the Auditorium Theater on Monday night with her old Park Ridge buddies and volunteers, one of whom had campaigned for her in 48 states. Cheer! Cheer! Decked out in green and seated in an orthopedic boot because of a broken toe during a recent trip to London, Clinton was presented with a homemade chocolate cake with Halloween orange and yellow frosting by Ricky Ricketts, her only close friend since kindergarten, and treated to a rousing birthday song by attorney Kevin O'Keefe's two grandchildren, Trek. Trek, Sneed is told the Park Ridge Group will next head on mass on November 17th to Little Rock, Ark, to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Clinton presidency. Would I know, Joe Yum? Before former Veep Joe Biden silence his complicity speech at the Palmer House on Wednesday, his usual food request was filled, to wit waiting for him in the holding room were peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Diet Coke and a little cheese, if you please, private powwow him. Biden may be deflecting rumors he is thinking about running for president in 2020, but he also had a private lunch confab with 30 dumb political powerhouses, which included Louis Sussman, Bill Daly, Susan Manilow, Bill Singer, Newt Minow and Lester Crown. Next up Biden heads back to Chicago on December 11th to promote his book Promise Me, Dad, at the Chicago Theater. Sneedlings, I spy NBA MVP Russell Westbrook spotted dining and snapping pics with dozens of fans last week at Harry Caray's Water Tower Place. Broadcasting legend Ron Maggers, sometimes film critic Richard Roper and WGN radio host Rokan lunching together Tuesday at Jean George Eddy. Today's birthday is David Schwimmer, 51 Danny Amendola, 32 and Nelly, 43.